Welcome back to HVAC Made Easy. We got a service call for the store not cooling. We got here, thermostat satisfied at 70, but they're saying uh, like 12 o'clock in the p.m. The store heats up and it's really hot. So we're gonna check it out to see what's wrong. So come with me. All right, so this is the unit in question. I'm just gonna open it up to see what's going on. between terminal J6 to 9 and J6 to 6 so we have a cooling failure which is the flashing light so we're gonna see why we have this cooling failure okay so this here is the J6 terminal so we're gonna check the voltage the meter to volts we're gonna check terminal 6 which is this one and 9 which is this one so there is no voltage and now I'm gonna check for power I got 26 volts Six volts to Y1, 26 volts for Y2. So the unit is calling for both circuits to run, but we're only getting compressor one turning on. So compressor two is not running. So we're gonna check our pressure. Right here we could see our filter dryer it seemed like it was frozen it's sweating like crazy so something's going on I don't know if I have a plug filter dryer so on the low pressure switch we're gonna put our meter to continuity gonna check across the terminals so my pressure switch is closed my low pressure switch is closed now let's check the high pressure disable the heater for now We got a electrical issue going on here. That seem like the terminals are overheating. We got a fuse right there that's burnt out. So we disconnected the heater. We're gonna disconnect the heat. W1. Alright, so we're jumping out both stages right here. So that's stage 
one just kicked on. Gotta see if stage two comes on. My stage two just kicked on. Checking for a temperature drop across my filter dryer. Supply is 61, return is 77. I definitely have a head pressure problem. My head pressure is 350 and rising. This coil is extremely dirty, so we're gonna use our coil gun here, soap it up and get it clean. So this coil gun is a must-have for a technician. It's really great, does the job real quick. So we're gonna let the coil cleaner sit on the coil for about five minutes, then we rinse it off with water. You see how dirty that coil is? It's a lot of mess. All right, so I went over the coil several times. I'm just gonna wash away the dirt so it doesn't get pulled back into the coil. clean the coil we're gonna hook up back our gauges and see if the head pressure went down I'm reconnecting my stage two
And now we're checking our head pressure. So now we're down to 256 on my high side, which is where I want it to be. And our condenser saturation is 119 degrees. That is about 30 degrees above my ambient temperature. So that's a good sign. My system is cooling properly. It's breathing a lot. Both suction line are cold. No more flashing status light. So we got a solid light. 